everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and today I'm here to give you a few tips on what to put in your carry-on. Um, the first few are going to be things that you definitely want to put in your carry-on or you will not be making it onto the ship. And the last few are just some things that will make it more convenient for your, your travel. Okay, so let's get started. First, number one item, passports or um, if you're cruising where you can take a picture ID and or birth certificate or um, whatnot, that's fine as well. But make sure you have your ID that you will need to get on the ship. And we usually also take a folder, which we put all of our travel documents in. We usually have our airfare, our, our airline booking um, information and boarding passes also. Um, our information for the cruise line to get on board, our boarding passes. So we usually take that. So make sure you have all of your travel documents. That is the number one thing to have, if nothing else, because you will not be getting on the ship if you do not have your travel documents. Okay, next, the number two important thing I would say is make sure you have all of your medication, any medication, whether um, it's like over the counter, like Tylenol or Tums or anything like that, the seasick medication, uh, make sure you have those in your carry-on so that they won't get misplaced or missing. And most, most important, any prescription medication you have, make sure it is in your carry-on. Um, you do not want, you know, especially if it's something that you are really need, um, you don't want to take a chance of it getting misplaced um, and you not having it for a week or more. So I would, that's why I would say that's your number two thing is medication. After that, kind of um, everything kind of falls into place wherever you want. But another important thing I would say definitely put in your carry-on is, let me give you, cameras. All your cameras, um, your things charging, all this stuff, any electronics, your phone, all that, chargers, all that needs to go on your carry-on because you don't want to put anything like this valuable um, in your check luggage and have, risk it being lost or, or stolen or damaged or anything. So make sure you have these in your carry-on. Plus, you could probably want to use some of them as you're getting on the ship taking some pictures. So make sure that's in your carry-on as well. Next, um, I would say uh, another important thing is sunglasses. Make sure your sunglasses stay with you because when you get on that ship, you may be outside, it's going to be sunny, and you're going to want your sunglasses. Also, if you wear regular glasses at any time, maybe not all the time, but just reading glasses or whatever, make sure that you bring those as well in your carry-on because you definitely don't want those misplaced either. Another important thing, if you bring any kind of jewelry, it's my little jewelry organizer thing here, um, or anything valuable like that, make sure that goes in your carry-on. Do not put anything valuable um, in your checked luggage like that. Another th important thing um, is any all your money, any credit cards. Um, that needs to be in your carry-on, or actually probably in your wallet or purse, or you know, as well. But that needs to be as a carry-on. It needs to come on board with you. So do not put any of that in your checked luggage for sure. Another important thing I would put in my carry-on, at least one anyways, is some sunscreen. You know, if you want to put some of the rest in your check luggage, that's fine, but I would at least bring one with you so that you definitely have one because if you're going to the Caribbean or anywhere like that, you definitely want some sunscreen. You don't want to fry. <laughs> okay, so those are um, probably the things that I would say definitely put in your carry-on that you are gonna need um, or just for safety purposes. There's a few other things I would say that might make things a little easier for you. Um, if you have children, if you're traveling with children, make sure um, any little incidentals that they may need, special things like a little stuffed toy to sleep with or a blankie or bottle, pacifier, maybe some extra diapers, things like that. Make sure all that's in your carry-on because you don't know when you're gonna get your luggage and you know how it is with kids. You don't want to not have something and, you know, have to deal with them being upset. It kind of puts a damper on your vacation. So keep them happy and mom and dad will be happy. <laughs> okay. And then also, um, 
I like to bring a chain, maybe one change of clothes with me in my carry-on, or um, if I don't wear my flip-flops on board, I might throw my flip-flops in there, some sandals, and a swimsuit. Because when you get on board, you may want to take a swim or just lay out and get some sun, or you may want to change for dinner before your luggage gets there, or whatever the case is. But I would always bring, my, my motto is, if I have a change of clothing, a swimsuit, and my flip-flops, if my luggage got lost, I would, could, manage the whole week and be happy wearing those things over and over, washing them, whatever, buying a couple things on the ship. But I would be able to manage the whole week and still have a good time, okay? But if you had nothing to change into, then, you know, it might not be so fun. Anyways, so um, also I like to bring my toiletries um, in my carry-on for the cruise, cruise because that way I don't, I have them there. Sometimes you like to freshen up before dinner, you want some of your things before your luggage arrives. So I usually put all my toiletries in my carry-on. Now when we fly, of course, you cannot sometimes put all of your toiletries in your carry-on, depending on what sizes you bring, of course. Um, and we bring, some of our things aren't travel size. So it's what I do is I usually put it in my check luggage for the flight and then I, pull it out um, of my check luggage when we get to the hotel that night or whatever and throw it in my carry-on for the ship because you can bring them on the ship. Sizes do not matter on the ship. Any toiletries can come on. Okay, and last but definitely not least, if your cruise line allows you to bring um, the free bottle of, well, not free, but a bottle of wine or champagne on with you at embarkation, make sure it is in your carry-on because it will not go in your checked luggage. They will probably take it out. Um, it needs to go in your carry-on. You need to carry that on with you, but that will save you a little bit of money if you can bring that on with you and your cruise line allows it. So make sure that's in your carry-on as well. Okay, and that's all I have for you. There's a few tips of what to put in your carry-on and hope it was helpful. Till next time, happy cruising. <laughs>